So we want to find the least integer greater than zero such that 2 to the power of n plus 5 to the power of n minus n is equal to 0 mod 1000. So the first thing I'm thinking here is that if something is equal to 0 mod n, then it is also equal to 0 mod all of its divisors. And since 8 and 125 are divisors of 1000, we can then set up the following two equations. So 2 to the power of n plus 5 to the power of n minus n is congruent to 0 mod 8 and the same thing for mod 125. Now, notice that 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3, and 125 is equal to 5 to the power of 3. And so for all n is greater than or equal to 3, and since n is obviously greater than or equal to 3, as you can test out to 1 and 2, doing this, we can erase 2 to the power of n and 5 to the power of n for these two equations. So now let's look at the first equation. So first of all, 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 25, which is congruent to 1 mod 8. And so now we see a cycle. And so 5 to the power of n is congruent to 5 if n is odd, and 5 to the power of n is congruent to 1 if n is even. Now we are looking for a value such that 5 to the n minus n is equal to 0 mod 8. So first of all, this case cannot be true, because if 5 to the power of n is congruent to 1 mod 8 and n is even, then 5 to the n minus n will be odd. And so this case does not work and therefore n is odd. Now since it must be congruent to 0 mod 8, it becomes pretty clear that n is equal to 5, since 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And since n is equal to 5 mod 8, we can write n as 8r plus 5 for some integer r. So r is natural. So I'm going to move this to the top, and now we're going to look at the second equation. So we can substitute 8r plus 5 into 2 to the power of n, and n over here. So 2 to the power of 8r plus 5 minus 8r minus 5 is equal to 0 mod 125. Then 2 to the power of 8r plus 5 is congruent to 8r plus 5 mod 125. So now we can use our power rules. So we have 2 to the power of 8r times 32 is congruent to 8r plus 5 mod 125. Then we know that 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. And since 256 is equal to 6 mod 125, we then have 6 to the power of r times 32 is congruent to 8r plus 15 mod 125. So now here comes one of the most important observations of this question. Now I want to note that it is totally possible to solve this problem without using the binomial theorem, but that solution is much longer, involves much more computation, and since you can't be sure if this solution will work, you'll probably end up giving up halfway. And so here is something that you should notice. 6 is equal to 5 plus 1. Now it sounds obvious, but then 6 to the power of r is equal to 5 plus 1 to the power of r. So now using the binomial theorem, we only need terms that aren't divisible by 125. And so we get 5 plus 1 to the power of r is equal to r choose r times 1 plus r choose r minus 1 times 5 plus r choose r minus 2 times 5 squared. All of this in mod 125. Now all of this is equal to r times r minus 1 over 2 times 25 plus 5r plus 1 mod 125. And so now we know that 6 to the power of r is equal to r times r minus 1 over 2 times 25 plus 5r plus 1 in mod 125. So now let's substitute this into this. So now we have r times r minus 1 over 2 times 25 plus 5r plus 1 all times 32 is equal to 8r plus 5 mod 125. So now I'm just going to save us a little bit of time and just tell you that this eventually breaks down to 25r squared plus 2r plus 27 is congruent to 0 mod 125. So after expanding this and then subtracting 8r plus 5, we get this quadratic equation. But remember what we did at the start. If a number is congruent to 0 mod n, it is also congruent to 0 mod all of its divisors. So we can put this mod 5. So we get 25r squared plus 2r plus 27 is equal to 0 mod 5. But since we have 25 times r squared and 25 is a multiple of 5, we can effectively erase this term. And since 27 is equal to 2 mod 5, we have 
2r plus 2 is equal to 0 mod 5. Now, since 2 and 5 are relatively prime, we can divide both sides by 2. So we have r plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 5. And so we have r is equal to negative 1 mod 5, but negative 1 is also equal to 4 mod 5. So r is equal to 4 mod 5. So now we can write r is equal to 5s plus 4 for some natural number s. So now let's erase all of this and finally solve the problem. So while I was erasing the board, I realized I probably shouldn't have erased the board because I wanted to use the quadratic equation from earlier to move back up here. But if you want to go and look at this equation, you can also go back, although I've written it here, I don't know why you would do that. But anyways, what we want to do here is 25 times 5s plus 4 squared plus 2 times 5s plus 4 plus 27 is congruent to 0 mod 125. We can substitute s into r because r is equal to 5s plus 4. So unlike last time, I'm actually going to expand it. Now last time we erased the 25, but remember that that was in mod 5. We can't do the same thing this time. And so we have 25 times 25s squared plus 40s plus 16 plus 10s plus 8 plus 27 is equal to 0 mod 125. So now distributing, we get 625s squared plus 1000 s plus 400 plus 10s plus 8 plus 27 is congruent to 0 mod 125. Now since 625 and 1000 are multiples of 125, we can just erase these two terms. They don't really matter. So all we're left with is 10s plus 435. Since 400 plus 8 plus 27, this is equal to 0 mod 125. Now 435 is equal to 60 mod 125. So we have 10s plus 60 is equal to 0 mod 125. So finally, we can factor out a 10. So we have 10 times s plus 6 is congruent to 0 mod 125. But now, notice that 125 is equal to 5 to the power of 3. And so if something is going to divide 125, then it must contain 3 factors of 5. And since 10 already adds 1 factor, since 10 is equal to 2 times 5, we know that s plus 6 must add 2 factors. And so the minimum value of s plus 6 will be equal to 25, since 25 is equal to 5 squared, and we need 2 more factors of 5. And so s is equal to 19. And so now, finally, Finally, we can substitute s back into these two equations and solve for n. And so finally, substituting 19 into this r equation, we have that r is equal to 5 times 19 plus 4. r is equal to 99. And then we substitute 99 into r for the n equation. So n is equal to 8 times 99 plus 5. Now n is equal to 8 times 99, which is equal to 8 times 100 minus 8 which is 792. So 792 plus 5, and n is equal to 797, and we are done. Now, you obviously cannot test this on a calculator because no calculator would show you the answer to 2 to the power of 797, but after using some modular arithmetic, we have finally solved this problem. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you next time.